Hey Aries, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Aries. So if you're an Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Aries, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Messages for Aries. Okay. Messages for Aries. Messages for Aries. person admires you a lot whoever this person is they admire you a lot you could have had some sort of trauma bonding with this person so that devil energy but um, they admire you whether whatever has happened between the both of you no matter whatever has happened between the both of you uh, this person really admires you you are very intuitive um, this person is extremely aware of that that you see things you see through things see that eye over there it's almost this feels like the third eye right the third eye chakra and look at that this person of course they were being fake they put on a mask and they were pretending to be someone they weren't and you saw through them you saw through this person Two, two, two. They don't like it though. You saw through them. That was not their plan that you would be able to completely see through all of their games and manipulation or whatever they did. Catfishing this person could just have been pretended to be someone they weren't. They put on a... They showed you an image of themselves that actually doesn't exist. And it's possible that it took you some, some time to listen to your intuition and actually see through this person, but you did. And this person is very aware of that. You might have never guessed that this person actually admires you, but they do. Especially I feel like the way they are, you are so intuitive, you can see through things, you are in general, your airy self, that cardinal fire self, this person really admires that. They could have really, really broken your trust, like when you expected this person to be there, like you were there for this person, but when you expected them to be there for you, that's when this person wasn't available you could have really spoiled this person with your time money made them feel very very good there could be some money issues that has happened between the both of you money could have been a big issue in this connection but you were very generous to this person it's almost like this person took advantage of your generosity You are definitely going through some healing here. This person did um, give you some severe trust issues and traumas that you need some time to heal through. You could be recognizing the pattern. Your intuition could be telling you what you need to heal right now. You're, or in, more like your intuition is pushing you towards healing yourself, taking care of yourself. Your intuition is um, it's also like this, I feel like this urge, like universe is telling you to actually listen to your intuition more often. 
because you you can see through things you have that ability we all have that our intuitive psychic abilities but you need to exercise it more often you could have really thought that this was going to be a long-term commitment this was going to be a great romance or you felt like whatever image this person portrayed of you you felt like this was it this was my person this was this is going to be the romance or this is the romance i have been looking for but yeah they were just pretending yeah you were very generous you really showed compassion to this person they could have been going through some sort of trauma of their own and you helped this person heal in some way or the other All right there could have been a third party situation involved here someone you really trusted and they broke your trust someone involved in this connection I did say this person could be giving to someone else a third party and we have a two of cups and the six of pentacles here i have shuffled these cards this person also could have really like yeah this is like this totally this card here look how is giving to this person right this seems totally like this generosity card Was this person generous to more than one person at a time? But yeah, they, they definitely gave to you when they wanted to. It was more like their choice. Pentacles, Five of Cups. Three of swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, five of swords. Six of cups, ten of cups. Wow, Six of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, so Six of Cups, Ten of Cups, we have the Four of Cups in the mix here, right? Six and Ten. Four of Cups is what? Someone, the universe actually offering a cup and the person totally ignoring it. So this is what happened. This person ignored you, ignored the your value or the amount of effort you were putting into this connection. They just completely ignored it. I just saw 0909. Zero nine, zero nine. But these are three cups card here. So this is someone who was emotionally manipulating the other person. Knowing very well that this was a very strong connection. The other person really liked them. There was, they were having fun. They were, there was a good times here. This person also felt like you were home. You, like, you felt this person was your home or this person felt like it could be both ways. But yeah, they still decided to manipulate you. Five of Swords. Five of Swords is someone who manipulates the other person. 
like someone who uses the words in a certain way to manipulate the other one let me pick up the card that fell actually temperance you are really being very patient with this person you were being patient with them because you thought that this person is going to eventually open up king of cups is someone who is very closed off someone who well um, has a lot of emotions but they don't express that they keep it hidden so you were very, being very very generous with this person you were being very patient you you thought yes this person does understand this is not the kind of person who is going to betray you and you genuinely believe that this person does have feelings for you and that is why you were being patient you were like yeah it's going to happen it's going to happen you could have also given this person a lot of time and a lot of chances and look at that three of swords at the bottom of the deck right yeah they just ended up breaking your heart this person could have been also very indecisive almost at crossroads they had options they you you found out they had options so you thought this you thought that this person really loved you 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 felt this connection with this person you you thought that this person feels the same way for you until you found out wait they are just manipulating me You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, uh, Aquarius. Okay, Page of Cups. Eight of Wands, the Moon. You could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer. Yeah, judgment, Knight of Cups, Nine of Swords came out. We did see the Knight, Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. But yeah, the lovers, choices, connection, strong connection, a choice. Keep it here for the time being. So it's just too many cards came out. Yeah. Justice. Look at that Empress came out. Water of the deck, we have your energy, Emperor here. So you could be dealing with another Aries, but this is your energy. So you are showing up in this reading, which is a good thing. So as I said, in the past, this person, you were very generous, very giving to this person, very open. You really felt a connection with this person, a soulmate kind of connection. You were having fun and you almost saw a future with this person. Except with the Five of Swords, this person was manipulating. I mean, Five of Swords, King of Cups is someone... 
who's very manipulative. Emotionally, they manipulate the other person. Emotionally, they manipulated you a lot. Temperance here, you were trying to be very, very patient. You were trying to be very understanding. You thought that this person does have feelings for you. They feel the same way. Eventually, they are going to open up. Eventually, you never imagined you were being manipulated. You didn't think. And that is why the intuition, uh, I said that this person did put on a mask and did pretend it to be someone they were not. And it might have taken you some time to figure this out, figure this person out, but you did. You did figure this person out. With the star, in, uh, we have the star, page of cups, eight of wands and the moon here. This person does know, they, they are aware that they need to apologize to you. But with the eight of wands, see page of cups and eight of wands both talks about communication. And eight of wands is very fast communication. So the only reason this person hasn't already communicated with you is because of that eight of wands and the moon here. Um, uh, this person isn't very sure about you accepting this apology. This person might feel like no matter how many times I apologize to Aries, I have effed up so bad that they are Aries is never going to actually accept my apology. Because this person might want to come in and tell, let's try to balance the situation. Because temperance is about balance. A star is also about ba balance, right? So this person might come in and try telling you, let's try to balance the situation. But they feel like it's it's no use actually telling you that you won't accept them back so this person see the eight of wands again they really want to communicate but they are not sure about it they are very insecure also look at that bottom of the de deck queen of swords yeah they are not it's not easy to approach this queen of swords because she has this big sword here right so she is going to cut you. Also, we have the emperor at the bottom of the deck, which is again this very intimidating energy. So the em and also right, of course, we have the emperor and the queen of swords here at the bottom of the deck, and then we have the queen of swords here too. They're very intimidated by your energy right now, and no, it's almost like they are choosing not to communicate because they feel like you're not going to accept that apology will not do anymore. the nine of swords and the two of cups I did see the nine of swords and the two of cups in this deck uh, before i started shuffling right I did see the two of cups um they are not really doing well especially mentally emotionally this person is not doing well they they realize their feelings for you whether you want to believe it or not whether you believe it or not this person does have feelings for you and because of this feelings because of this two of cups they want to apologize to you they want to communicate with you but at the same time, they are being haunted. They are feeling insecure. They are having the sleepless nights because they know the five of swords. They did manipulate you. They did play games with you. And now this person is in that sort of an energy of, well, I do love Aries. I have feelings for Aries. I think Aries is my soulmate, but... I don't even think Aries is going to accept me back in their life. So what, what am I going to do? How did I screw up this bad? But yeah, we have the feelings here. We did have the two of cups at the bottom of the deck in the first in that deck. And now we have the two of cups again in a different deck. So yes, there are feelings here. Alright, well, the lovers here, did I mention, you could be dealing with a Libra, uh, Gemini, 
Scorpio, fixed signs, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, or Sagittarius. Okay. They want another chance. See, look at that. Page of Cups and the Judgment. Page of Cups, Judgment, Knight of Cups. They really want to apologize to you. They really want to come towards you. They do want a second chance here. This is like plain as daylight. They want another chance with you. These three cards. This is about them wanting another chance. But at the same time, here we have the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Swords. So we already have the Nine of Swords here. This is again that energy. So this person in the present moment, they are being haunted. They are going to have, they are having sleepless nights. They are not doing well. They are in a lot of mental stress and anxiety, losing their sleep, losing their mind, all of that thing. But that energy is still there in the future. The moment this person just thinks of talking to you, the moment this person thinks of apologizing to you, they just lose it. It's very possible this person every day plans and strategizes about how to come towards you, how to make a move towards you, how to apologize to you, how to communicate with you. And then they just lose it because they're, this person is overthinking a lot. Nine of Swords repeated here twice and the moon this person is overthinking a lot and they're regretting they're regretting that five of swords what they did to you in the past also this nine of pentacles is someone who has got their stuff together she is she doesn't need anyone she might want someone she doesn't need anyone and this is your energy this is the kind of energy we already had the queen of swords and the emperor and i said this is how right so we have the queen of swords and the emperor this is how this person sees you and then with the nine of pentacles here this person already knows that you don't need anyone you are doing good and this is why this person admires you you did have the secret admirer right this is why this person admires you because they feel like even after they put you through so much, you are still standing confident, standing your ground, knowing your worth and giving justice to yourself. You're still doing that. You have not broken down. You are not, they don't see you as someone who's weak. And this is what they admire. They don't see you as someone who's weak. And I don't think Aries is a weak. I mean, Aries, how can Aries ever be weak? Come on, it's the Emperor, it's Cardinal Fire. Anyways. The nine of wands fell and it fell in a place I can't pick it up. So I'm just going to talk about it. This person feels this connection a lot. The lovers here, they feel this connection really, really a lot. But at the same time, they feel like this has become a sort of a missed opportunity. This can become or this has already become a sort of missed opportunity no matter how hard they try they can't get you to look towards them at all especially with the nine of wands coming out let me see if i can pick that up i feel weird not showing you the card with the nine of wands you could have already blocked this person or you're emotionally blocking this person uh, you have your guards up and this person feels like no matter how much of this connection they feel with you they this has possibly become a missed opportunity here because with the four of cups look at this the four of cups this person isn't even interested in seeing this cup right they are much more focused here so you're not looking at them you're not focused on them similarly nine of wands is someone who is very very defensive someone who has the defenses up and this is what uh, this person is seeing you as like you already have your defenses up there's no way you're going to put down your defenses for them So this person is fearing this has become a missed opportunity and they have to live with the fact that 
you're never going to accept them back in your life you're not going to be open to them ever again they have to live with it and this person doesn't like that fact yeah see this is the nine of wands this is from the other deck but this is the nine of wands you are defensive you're not open to them at all so if you were as i said you were very generous in the past but you are not that energy anymore and it's very difficult for this person to accept it that they themselves screwed everything up and now you are guarded towards them they also see you as someone who is acting or behaving very much single and they do not like it that you are acting or behaving like a single person they don't like that they may also see you like someone who has a lot of suitors right now like a lot of people want you want your attention again they don't enjoy that now with the justice here and the wheel of fortune they do want to restore balance in this connection they do want to give you justice it's very possible this person has received some sort of karma here but i'm going to clarify that seven of wands actually clarify that seven of wands please clarify that seven of wands please there are too many Ace of Swords. Wheel of Fortune again at the bottom of the deck. This person, Ace of Swords, the Tower. Ace of Swords is again new beginning. Ace of Swords is also communication, the truth. The Justice had a similar has a similar sword in her hand, right? Like this Ace of Swords. So this person knows that you are just looking for the truth. No sugar coating, nothing. The truth from them. They also feel like with time things are going to be fine here. Look at that. I cut the deck and we have the empress here, and we did have the emperor at the bottom of this deck. They feel like with time this is somehow this person feels with time you are going to unblock them with time your guards are going to come down with time you are going to be less intimidating for them to for them to approach you this is what this person is hoping for that with time aries is going to calm down aries is going to be aries is going to almost i heard the word melt i, I don't know what that means but i heard the word melt so your anger is going to melt you are going to soften up Probably that's what it means. And that is when this person will be able to approach you. Because right now, they don't feel safe, secure to approach you. They are, in fact, shit scared of you. He was scary to them. Aries, right now. So this person feels with time, you're going to soften up. With time, your guards are going to come down. With time, you might even unblock them. Like physically, if you have blocked this person, you might unblock them. And that's when this person will come in out of the blue. With this communication of, hey, can we talk? Hey, remember me? That sort of energy. All right. See the devil. Didn't I mention you this devil energy here? Yeah. Okay. This person knows you have a lot of passion for them. The passion is there between the both of you. And this person might also believe that there's no way you have gotten over them or you have completely detached yourself from this connection. There's no way that has happened. There's no way you're completely over them. There's no way you're not going to give them another chance. Because this is a very strong connection. And the devil here, I did say at the beginning of the reading, there's some trauma bonding here. But this is the thing. I said trauma bonding and then I also said you were healing. You're healing from whatever trauma this person gave you. Now, here's the thing. When you start healing, you are doing your work. Doesn't mean this person is doing their own healing, right? So they are still attached to you in that same way you were once attached to this person. 
and this person feels like you are going to be you are going to remain attached to them the same way you were before i hope i'm making sense right so you were attached to them but since you are healing you are not you are able to see the red flags, you're able to see the trauma, you're able to see why you were so insanely attracted to this person, you are able to see things clearly and you are moving past that, you're moving on from that energy, but this person thinks you are stuck in that same energy. So you are going to give them another chance for sure. So they are stuck to you, they feel you are stuck to them in the same way, no matter what has happened, whatever has happened, look at this, the devil is two people just stuck. They can free themselves, but they're not doing that. There's this illusion that they are stuck. So they feel like, this person feels like, yeah, there's no way Aries is getting over me. The kind of passion. And they are, they will want to pursue this devil and queen of wands. Because they really think the three of cups is possible. Reunion is possible here. But yeah, I cut the deck with the Queen of Swords again, so you're going to be fine. See, look at that. We have the Queen of Swords, Knight of Cups, Justice, right? So when this person comes towards you with this apology, no matter how much they try to sweet talk to you, make you believe into stuff or whatever, or try to be passionate and sweep you off your feet you're going to be fine you're going to be able to see through all of that because remember your intuition queen of swords is highly highly intuitive your intuition will tell you and this time you'll be able to see things more clearly and you just need to listen to your intuition all right well, that's your reading, um, Aries. Uh, okay, you could be dealing with the Scorpio, Capricorn. Yeah, I think I've mentioned the other signs. Um, I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.